Hi everyone, Gaming Hubby here, just to update you on my SCART switch um, issues. Um, I've since ditched the Otaku Games SCART switch um, due to the problems that I outlined in my previous video. And I've now gone for the uh, Hydra Mini that was released um, in May. I received mine uh, just over a week ago. Um, and so far it's been really really good um i had one audio issue uh with the switch um due to the uh power supply that i was using i was using um, a, a five volt power supply and that was causing a kind of like a humming sound that could be heard um through my tv speakers and um it was, it was very very annoying but i managed to um basically uh, get a new power supply unit that allowed me to switch um, the voltage uh, to up to uh, 12 volts so I'm currently uh, running the power supply on 12 volts and that seems to have got rid of the audio issue that I had with the Hydra. So yeah I'll just briefly show you how this is working. Currently right now I have a Wii I have an original Xbox, a PS2 and a Mega Drive connected to the SCART switch. The red light is indicating that the Wii is the currently selected source. As you can see, there's the Wii, familiar Wii menu. If I hit the switch, that's the PS2 running. And if I go back again, that's the Xbox. And finally, if I go right to the end, there we have Castlevania Bloodlines running on the Mega Drive. Just to be clear, the image quality issues that I found with the Otaku Games Switch are not present at all. Um, with the Hydra Mini. So if you want to try and get an understanding of some of the uh, image quality issues that I had with the Otaku Game Switch, go to my previous video. Um, I kind of detail the problem that I was having there. Um, it may have been unique to me, but um, I wasn't able to resolve the issue. Thanks guys.